People think that the drug stuck, the vaccine started getting developed in January or February, but really it was the beginning phases of it was years, if not decades earlier. There was a lot of foundational work that was being done. For example, in terms of the messenger RNA technology that um, that both the Moderna and the Pfizer uh, vaccines uh, employ, you know that work was is just fundamental to being able to develop the vaccine, and that was being done many years ago. One of the things that is very interesting about mRNA vaccines is that they are definitely not new. They have been in the works for several years, as President Wilson mentioned. And actually, they were working on candidate vaccines just before the pandemic started on influenza, pandemic influenza, as well as Zika and CMV, human cytomegalovirus, among others. And the good news is that they were able in that process to begin perfecting the delivery vehicle for the mRNA. So the lipid nanoparticle, which is basically a delivery vehicle for the mRNA, is now being used in these new vaccines and they're working. Phase three trials uh, that were recently completed for Pfizer and Moderna were in large numbers if these were well-controlled placebo uh, blinded uh, trials in uh, 30,000 subjects for Moderna, 42,000 for Pfizer, and there, were, there was nothing compromised. Somebody who's been a clinical investigator for 35 years, there was nothing that was compromised in the conduct of these studies. They were done quickly because of the investment that was uh, put into it. There's a couple of reasons why getting vaccine now and even in the future is very important. A couple of reasons. One is um, the higher the coverage we have in the population, the greater the chances we have for achieving herd protection. So that's one thing. The second thing is that even if the virus mutates and the vaccine efficacy does go down somewhat, we can still obtain some protection from the vaccine that can be very significant at a population level and individual level. The vaccine is the most important measure we have to control, to beat this uh, pandemic, and we very strongly encourage it. I don't like needles, <laughs> so I, I was a little bit apprehensive uh, going in. I had absolutely no problem whatsoever. In fact, if my arm hurt less than when I get a flu shot. Um, there was no symptoms. Um, I went cycling the next morning or maybe even that same day. Um, didn't have any 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 soreness or anything. It just, uh, I almost felt like I didn't get a shot. Now the second one, as, as somebody said, I think it was Dr. Zerbo mentioned, is, uh, is supposedly the reaction is supposed to be a bit more intensified on the second shot. And, um, and I think most people have been experiencing that. But again, nothing that should you know, keep anyone from wanting to get the second shot. Obtaining two doses of the vaccines is very, very important. And people may think, well, I'm, I'm okay with one dose. I can get by with one. Um, no, the answer is not really right now. Um, there's some protection with it for sure with the first dose, but that second dose is really the booster that makes sure that you have a very robust level of antibody that we all really need to be protected. With one dose, there's about a 60% efficacy. With two doses, Moderna, Pfizer, there's 95%. So we want to see everybody get two doses. Getting one dose is better than none. But um, but it is going to be important to immunize as many people as we can to be able to um, defeat the virus. Until such time that we've really achieved herd immunity, even if you've gotten the vaccine, you need to continue wearing a mask. You need to continue social distancing and other mitigation measures that we all know about. And yes, we'd all like to get out of this pandemic universe and move into a uh, you know, the next phase of our lives, but until we reach that phase, we really can't you know, stop some of the mitigation that measures. We probably have to get up to about uh, uh, at least 60, probably 80% of the population uh, immunized before we're very confident in being able to uh, have uh, enough herd immunity. 
first of all, get it yourself if your if your turn is up, and to you know communicate your experiences with uh, whoever is uh, hesitant, and um, and and explain uh, not only the effect uh, on you personally, but I, I think also there's a societal responsibility here. We're going to work toward uh, a completely open campus for the fall. That's what we're hoping, and it's all going to be based on. You know what happens、uh, between now and then、uh, with the distribution of the vaccine and and and、uh, how widespread how people、uh, have been able to、um, you know get the vaccine and and have some sort of protection. So that's what our goal is. So let's everybody work together and、um, uh, let's make that a reality.